Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. All right, so now we're going to show you guys how to uh, uh, create a course content folders, how to manage it, how to edit, and we're going to show you samples of a um, predictable design and how it's user friendly and and so on. So you log in into your course, for example, in Blackboard. Again, just as a reminder, if you want to uh, see this, the menu in Arab in English, you right click above the arrow and you select translate to English all right and then you go to course guide now as you can see over here uh, the items are organized with the course resource folder here we created and then we did it by unit one to simulate the pacing schedule again it's flexible but this is a design that you know we created um, to show a predictable uh, design setup. Now, if you, as you notice here, the items are unavailable, which we made for our students. When we're ready to make something available, all we have to do is right click the arrow next to the folder name, and we just click on make available. And if you do that, uh, the folder color comes back. Um, and we'll do so for each unit, for example, just for this demonstration. Now, uh, each folder is set up with content. So here you can set up, let's say, uh, resources, let's say, for example, pacing schedule, writing portfolio contents, vocabulary cards, logo, and so on um, for like a predictable design. Uh, you go back into the course, uh, unit one, we broke it down into two categories, listening and speaking and reading and writing. All right. You might want to create folders with listening and speaking and then base the units off of each folder, but uh, there's a variety of ways of making the folder structure. Um, now, look, for example, if you look at here at this folder, class stuff, now this is not a good uh, predictable design. You know, it's sometimes unorganized. You might have one item and then you go to a grammar lesson, to a video lesson, to an assignment, to a blog. Now, if you have many, many items throughout the whole semester, students are going to scroll through the pages and it's going to take a long time or it might be confusing. So it's better to have a nice folder structure uh, similar to like Microsoft Windows that it's easier for students to find the materials that they need. Um, you can create a folder. So here, let's show you how to create a folder. So you cl click on build content and select content folder. Right. So here, let's say for example, we'll call it unit four. You can type in a description here. All right. And similar to like Microsoft Windows, uh, you type in the name here, you can choose the color, you can type in the information that you want, um, as well as you have the options to permit users to view this content. You can track to see if the students are going to view this folder, and you can select date and time restrictions based on your need. So for example, if you decide to just show students unit one, um, and then once you finish unit one module, then you show them unit two and so on. So this is really a um, handy feature that's available in uh, Blackboard. So if you want to click on it, you just select it, the date and just select the time. All right. And then you just click submit. And if you notice, there goes unit four. If you want to make it unavailable, just click here to make it unavailable. Or if you want to look at the user progress or statistics report to see how many students actually clicked on this folder and looked at the material. Um, you have the option of moving it. So let's say we want to move it from one folder to another or to another section. Or you can move the folder directly by going to the left side and just moving it up. You have the option to right click and edit to rename the folder or to change the sections below or to change the uh, settings be, uh, below um, so here we created unit 4 now let's create subfolders so for example we want to create a listening
listening and speaking folder. I mean, you can create whatever subfolders that you felt that you might feel necessary. Again, you have the same settings and click submit. I'm going to create another folder and I'm going to call it reading and writing. You can write down the descriptions and just click submit. And there you go. Now, uh, now within within the folder, you have the options of building different types of content. You can add an item, you can add files, audio, image, video, a web link. Uh, these other items are actually more in details: learning module, lesson plan, and syllabus, um, course link, and SHMS. Uh, evolves a little bit more. It's not necessary for you to use it, but you can click on it and select the objectives. The learning module is more for self-learning um, content for students to follow without uh, much from much help from a student. Um, here is the content folder. Module page and blank page are items that are very similar to content, but uh, the easiest and most user-friendly structure is to use content folder. Um, mashups here are third-party softwares that's built in within Blackboard. You don't have to go to another website to download or to get materials for. So you have Flickr photos, SlideShare presentation, YouTube, and Blackboard open content. We're going to be using a lot of YouTube videos within mashups where it's built in within Blackboard. Really nice uh, tools. You can also have assessments where you can create tests, survey, assignments, and you can do self and peer assessments and mobile compatible test. The difference between a test and mobile compatible test is this one is geared for uh, mobile tests for mobile phones. Um, there are less test features available in the mobile test compared to the regular test in Blackboard. Um, tools, here are other tools that are available that you can include in the content folder, uh, discussion board, blogs, journals, wikis, and, and so on. Uh, partner contact is actually course books that are linked within Blackboard, uh, which we're not using currently. Uh, so let's go back to our regular page. Now to view what it looks like from a student perspective, all you have to do is click here uh, with this little arrow that looks like an eye. Uh, click here and enter student preview. This shows you what the students will be able to see once they log in. So if they click onto the course section, and there you go, they get to see the folders. If you notice, one of the folders is not showing because it's, it's unavailable. You have the option of making folders available based on time restrictions and so on. All right, to exit the video, uh, the student preview, just click on exit preview. You have this option if you want to delete the preview user data, which is recommended. Um, if you are finished previewing the students and you don't want to save the data that you were looking at. So just click continue. And this will take us back to the regular page. Uh, go back to this selection here. And uh, we'll talk about a little bit more of each items when we build contents, step-by-step um, -step instructions. But now this is just a general idea of a good course design uh, setup so that if you want to set it up for your class. Thank you for watching this video tutorial.